Hello everyone and welcome to the Citrus Twist Kids YouTube channel. I'm Laura and today I want to show you how I created these pages from my Pocket uh, Life Pocket Pages album with the new Fierce and Fabulous January kit. I really enjoy this the colors of this kit, all the, the different designs it has. And I thought it was so bright I that I decided to use it for a summer page. It's the colors are so vibrant and and very they give me like very good vibes. So I decided to go with some summer pages and that I could finish my my 2019 Project Life album. So here you have the beginning of this process. I like to lay all my pictures in place and then decide which designs of papers I want to use. So you can see the what I was saying, the colors that are so bright. And I'm in love with the, the stripes on the left top corner. I think it's a really nice paper to, to go with the title of the month. So you can see all the different pieces I chose, all the the beautiful colors, the flowers, and these lemons. I think they are so beautiful and bright to document our, our memories in the Pocket Page album. So once I've decided which papers I want to use, I will just cut them in the size I need so that I have the base for my, my layout, let's say. So once I've decided all the colors I need to bring and how to balance them, then I can start with the decoration. For the title, I decided to go with a different style. I Usually I just put some stickers and so, but this time I decided to use my silhouette cameo and cut the, the letters for the month, which is August in Catalan. So I think it's, it's a really nice option you can use as well and combine with the different elements from the the kit. Then I I start putting all the decorations. In this case, there's these banners here that are like textile stickers or something like this. They are so fun to use, and I really enjoy how they look in in my pages. You can see I'm using some other extras from the add-on kits, and this pink alpha. It's really cute. I didn't want to use that as a title for the month, but I think that it's perfect to add a little title in the in the pages, or it would be perfect for a traveler's notebook maybe, or a mini album. They look really, really cute, and it's the perfect pink to, to add a little bit of color in every page. Then I continue with the decorations, these puffy stickers that are exclusive for these kits are simply gorgeous. They give some some volume and, and they look really cute. Then I continue with the die cuts. They are always full of beautiful designs. The colors, they match perfectly with the papers and the cards. And it's just playing with them and seeing which ones look better with your pictures, with your memories. And it's just having fun now. Actually, I just I really love this part and just trying different things you can try in one place and in the other and just guessing which ones look bet better for your page. And I love that in this kit there are some gold glitter gold elements. That's why I decided to do the title in gold as well so that it would match with the different elements from from this kit. I, as I said you just before, it's it's just so bright and so so beautiful to to use to start the year uh, with new energy, with new um, resolutions. I think Project Life is one of the most um, recurrent resolutions for for a scrappy friends. So. I encourage you to try this this method of documenting your me memories. 
I really enjoy it and I think that I've almost finished my 2019 album and I really enjoy looking it back to it and seeing all the memories from all the year. It's really fun to, to see and with this beautiful kit, it's, it's just so easy and so beautiful. You can see that the colors and all the different decorations are just perfect. If you haven't tried them, I really recommend that. So it's so easy to document your memories and create so many different um, projects with just one kit. You will see that they they are very generous with the decorations and the papers. You won't run out of, of items. Once I have the all more or less the the decoration I, I want to to have in the page. It's just time to, to add the last details. Then I also created some spaces to write my journaling with different tags from the kit. And more or less you can see that it's almost in place. I just need to add the last details, let's say, and decide the, how I want to look everything but the big part is already done and you can see how easy it was to create this page with all these colors and every it's so easy to match all all the key elements the colors and so we, with just these kits here i'm going to use some of the um, elements from the she's magic collection from dear lizzie that are in the scrapbook add-on kit that I really enjoy and you can see that how fun it is and how well they match with the, with the kit as well. They do a really good job choosing the, the add-ons that match the, the kit itself, so it's so easy to, to play with these elements. Finally, just some phrase stickers. It's good to use them to document like a little moment. Maybe you don't want to write a big uh, journaling or something, but it's a, a good option to to get your thoughts in, in the page or, or in your pictures, just to give the, the idea of the memory you get and so. And now that I have everything in place more or less, it's time to glue the photos. I will just um, get through that for you. And finally, just gluing all together. It's how I like to, to work with these projects, just putting all the elements on place, but not gluing them until I'm sure that I like where, where they are. So now it's just gluing everything together, just choosing what, what I want to, to add finally. And you can see how easy it, it is to, to create these pages. Finally, I will just glue this gold glitter paper. I really enjoy, I really like this, this title card. Maybe it's one of my favorites for, for, for all the years, sorry. And yeah, you can see that how easy it is to play with different techniques with these kids. It's just having fun and enjoying the process of documenting your memories and just playing with the beautiful colors, the beautiful um, decorations. And you will have your memories all perfect and bright and beautiful. I really enjoy this, this kind of projects, actually, you can see. And it's not about doing a big um, project, just documenting your little moments or your daily routines and so, and just add these cute elements that make everything better. Finally, I will just write the journaling in some places. I like to put at least one card for uh, journaling. Sometimes I just write like a an idea of all the pictures from all the pages. So 
I prefer to have more pictures than maybe journaling. That's how I, I like it to be, but you can you can choose however you prefer. Some people like to write a little bit more and some prefer some pictures, but you can do what you prefer. Finally, just some staples and this is the page is all done already. So I, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry for my English because it's not perfect, but I hope you understood everything. And that's uh, this page is for today. Uh, I encourage you to visit the shop and, and subscribe to these beautiful kids. So see you soon and have a nice week.